Penelope Allison Penny Pazer born February 9, 1951 is an American actress and filmmaker. Early life Pazer was born in Irvington, New York, and attended Irvington High School, where she starred in student musical theater productions. She is the daughter of Marguerite Annie Richards and Peter Pazer, who at the time was mayor of Irvington, and later a five-term United States congressman in the late 1970s and early 1980s. Pazer was attracted to acting when, at the age of six, she saw Julie Andrews in My Fair Lady. Pazer performed in high school productions of The Boyfriend in Bye Bye Birdie. She told Bruce Kimmel in an interview that she enjoyed singing and acting throughout grade school. My triumph was in sixth grade when I decided to insert a musical number in our non-musical production of Oliver Twist. I was playing the artful dodger and couldn't resist the opportunity to sing Consider Yourself along with a self-choreographed tap dance. Now that really brought the house down and imagine the director's surprise. High school I was a theater geek with a minor in field hockey. Bye Bye Birdie, the boyfriend, born yesterday wouldn't you have loved to see me in the Judy Holiday role. Pazer began higher education at Skidmore College, where she majored in theater and performed the lead in Lysistrata while still a virgin and knowing not of what I spoke, she told Kindle, then transferred to Emerson College in Boston. At Emerson, she continued to study drama and acted in San Shepard's La Arista, among other plays. After graduating in 1973 with a degree in theater, she made her professional debut by joining a Boston improv group called The Proposition. Pazer told an interviewer, they'd take suggestions from the audience and turn them into skits. It was the most high-pressure job I ever had and the lowest paying. I figured it couldn't get any worse than that. After that, I went to New York and began my waitressing career. Pazer did indeed work as a waitress in Manhattan. She also gained experience as a glorified chorus girl in off-Broadway productions such as Time and Stodds, and performed in the original production of Lanford Wilson's The Hot L Baltimore, and well as, more recently, in Ethel Sings, the unsung song of Ethel Rosenberg at the off-Broadway Samuel Beckett Theatre. Film and Television Acting Pazer is known for her role as Cindy Fox in the 1980s series Crazy Like a Fox. Pazer moved to Hollywood upon landing a minor role in All the President's Men. Robert Redford, who produced and starred in the film, objected to casting a politician's daughter, but, as she told an interviewer for People, she informed Redford that her father was a liberal Republican who had criticized Richard Nixon, and she got the part. Two months later, she was cast as Ramona Scott in Rich Man, Pure Man Book 2. This was the first of a few long-running guest parts on television, including The Tony Randall Show, Crazy Like a Fox, and Knott's Landing. She played smaller guest roles in numerous TV series, including B.J. in The Bear, Barnaby Jones, The Incredible Hulk, Knight Rider, The A-Team, The Fall Guy, Tour of Duty, Quantum Leap, L.A. Long, Criminal Minds, and The Mentalist. Pazer worked with Paul Bartle and Steven Spielberg in a 1986 episode of Amazing Stories, of which she was the star. She co-starred as Tracy Beaumont in the 1979 TV movie The Girls in the Office and also starred as Emma Gazer Vidal in the 1982 TV miniseries The Blue and the Grave. Her other feature films include The In-Laws and The Frisco Kid. Pazer continued acting in theater in Los Angeles, in which she portrayed the lead role in A Moment in the Sun, Red Flags, and The Twilight of the Golds. Pazer has written for the Los Angeles Times as well as other publications. Citation needed. Filmmaking. Pazer co-produced, wrote and directed the documentary Trying to Get Good The Jazz Odyssey of Jack Sheldon 2008, which features interviews with Clint Eastwood, Billy Crystal, Merv Griffin, Chris Boddy, Dave Frischberg, Tierney Sutton, and others. The film won jury and audience prizes at the Nashville Film Festival, the Newport Beach Film Festival, the Indianapolis International Film Festival and the Kansas City Filmmakers Jubilee. She also wrote, produced, filmed, and directed the feature documentary Still Point Life Inside a Zen Community 2014 about a community in the hills above Santa Cruz, California of which UMI, British former radio DJ Tom Lodge, was the master, and Pazer's sister, Caroline, who was suffering from multiple sclerosis and was dubbed Muna by UMI, was one of the members. Personal Life Pazer began dating James Carroll Jordan when they were working on Rich Man, Pure Man Book 2 together. Jordan told an interviewer that they fell in love during their eighth episode together. They were married in 1977 and divorced in 1984. They have a son, James Buckley Jordan, who is managing partner of Canyon Creek Capital. Pazer was married to David Brady from 1991 to 1998, 
they had a son, Devon P. Brady of Landscape Films. Pazer is currently married to Doug McIntyre, the radio talk show host of McIntyre in the Morning at Cab in Los Angeles.